In this video, we'll talk in depth about wide angle lenses for the Krasnogorsk 3 and how to get the best results. The Meteor Zoom lens, which comes with the K3, is excellent, but it has two limitations. It only goes until 17mm focal length, which is a rather moderate wide angle, and the minimum focus distance from the film plane is 2 meters. If you have your K3 modified to super 16mm, the Meteor Zoom will not cover the entire frame between 25mm and 17mm. It will cause hard vignetting, rendering the footage virtually unusable. Make sure you get a K3 model with the M42 screw mount, also known as the Pentax mount. So you can use matching lenses designed for 35mm still photography. All of these will cover the entire Super 16mm image and yield excellent results. Unfortunately, there isn't a readily available market for new wide-angle lenses for the K3. You are unfortunately stuck with two options. The Pelang 8mm focal length made in Belarus, and the Zenitar 16mm focal length made in Russia. Both are high quality lenses. No official distributor exists outside the respective country, but you can find both easily, for example, on eBay, through Amazon, or from importers like NCS Products in New York, Rugift, and East Wave Products, to name but a few. Both are fisheye lenses. You will get barrel distortion. More pronounced with the Pelling 8mm, moderate with the Zenitar 16mm. To understand barrel distortion, let's look at a rectilinear grid of squares. The lines will bend outward like this. Horizontal and vertical center lines always remain the exact same. To see how an image actually looks like, let's take a look at 35mm still photography film. The Pelling 8mm is a circular fisheye lens. It exposes a circle within the frame that shows a 180 degree view. The Zenitar 16mm is a full-frame fisheye lens. The 180-degree view covers the diagonal. An actual photo taken with the Pelang 8mm will look like this. The same image taken with the Zenitar 16mm will fill the entire frame. Now let's overlay regular 16mm film with the image center exactly aligned. Here's how the image would appear. With the Pelang 8 and the Zenitar 16. Here's the super 16mm frame overlay with correctly realigned image center. You will get these results with the Pelang 8 and the Zenitar 16. Minimum focus distance is less than one foot with both lenses. 0.22 meters with the Pelang 8mm, 0.3 meters with the Zenitar 16mm. This provides a lot of versatility. The Pelang 8 opens up to f3.5, the Zenitar 16 up to f2.8. Keep in mind that both lenses deliver best image quality around f11. Both lenses have a deep depth of field at any f-stop. For accurate focusing, open up the diaphragm, then stop down as required. The Zenitar 16 comes with a spring-loaded metal pin which needs to remain pushed in in order for the aperture diaphragm to work. In my opinion, the best way to make it work with the K3 is to remove the pin and spring-loaded release lever mechanism inside. Remove these three screws, located here, and open the rear assembly. Then remove these two parts, pin and lever. Reinstall these two screws. Then reassemble the lens. It will work perfectly now with the K3. With the Pelang 8mm, you either go for the fisheye look, which can be great fun, or use it to obtain a certain cinematic effect, or avoid any camera movements except for tracking shots along the optical axis. Simulated here with handheld digital footage. Keep any straight horizontal line centered and level if possible. Off-center, it will either bend up or down. The Zenitar 16mm allows for free camera movement, including handheld documentary style. The moderate barrel distortion can actually add to the look. Both lenses are excellent also for smaller spaces and very short distances from the subject. Filters for both lenses are applied from behind, replacing the clear element. Since perfectly matching color conversion filters, 
such as the amber orange number 85 and the blue number 80 are not readily available, make sure you always use the correct color film stock. Daylight or tungsten balanced. If it's unavoidable, color correct and digital post. To sum it up, if you decide to get one of these fine wide-angle prime lenses for the K3, consider the following. The Pelang 8mm is a great addition for the regular 16mm format. The Zenitar 16mm fills in the missing zoom lens range for the Super 16mm format. You might consider getting both. These are most welcome additions for the K3 and, when used in the right way, deliver excellent, professional-looking results. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.